Good morning, Chantilly. This is Mr. Winfrey, Assistant Principal at Chantilly High School. I hope everyone is doing well during this time. Uh, this morning, I'm gonna share some information regarding distance learning. Distance learning will begin at Chantilly High School on Tuesday, April 14th, and continue through the end of the school year. Teachers will provide a link to their Blackboard Collaborate. Students should also communicate with their teacher on Wednesdays and Fridays at designated office hour times if they have any questions. What is the best way to communicate with a teacher? Students should send an email to the teacher. When in doubt regarding which email address, send the email to both addresses, the fcps.edu and the fcpsschools.net. Students should be familiar with using the Chantilly student site. There is an icon located on your FCPS on device desktop. The Chantilly High School student site looks like this. It includes all of the resources for students to access. At the top is the new distance learning page link. When you click that link, it will take you to all things distance learning. This page includes tips to a successful virtual school year. Students should have a dedicated workspace. Check your email often. Make sure your internet access is strong. Stay informed and up to date with current information and stick to a schedule. Here are some other tips for online learning. Fully commit yourself and participate in the virtual classroom as required. Be or be willing to become tech savvy. Work with others effectively. Complete your learning tasks and assignments on time. Be self-disciplined. Identify your learning objectives and goals. Build a study plan. Ask for help. Review, revise, and repeat. Take breaks. Participate in online discussions. And most of all, stay motivated. On the distance learning page, you will see the schedule for each week. All FCPS schools will follow a set schedule for instruction. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays will be times for students to work on assignments on their own. Each teacher will provide students with office hours where students can ask questions and seek help. Tuesdays and Thursdays will be used for direct virtual instruction with teachers. On Tuesdays, students will virtually attend periods 1, 3, 5, and 7. On Thursdays, students will attend periods 2, 4, 6, and 8. We are also working to provide optional virtual wellness activities and promote school spirit during period three, as well as optional extracurricular activities and meetings during the afternoon. Students should consider using a copy of the student schedule template at the top of this page. When students click this link, they will be asked to make a copy of the distance learning student schedule template. Follow the schedule for meeting with teachers. Have a plan to use the other days to complete assigned work and check in with your teachers as needed. At the bottom of this page is information regarding Blackboard Collaborate. Make sure you read this information and understand the tools that are offered on Blackboard. Attendance. Teachers will record non-participation and synchronous learning sessions in SIS. This will happen two days per week by period. The code VSN will be used, which means virtual session non-participation. Teachers will identify students who are not participating and will contact home. Parents will be able to see in parent view. Quarter 3 Grading Quarter 3 Gradebook is closed to new assignments as of March 13th. Teachers may enter assignments that were due prior to March 13th but not yet added to the gradebook. Teachers have been asked to accept work to benefit the student. For example, assignments given prior to March 13th and due after that date. Quarter 3 missing or incomplete assignments or reassessments with no late penalty. Students may complete quarter 3 missing work and reassessments up to April 24th, which is the end of the third quarter. Midterm may be included in quarter 3 grading. Quarter 4 grading. Quarter 4 will be removed from final mark term waiting. Assignment marks will be entered in SIS and will be proficient, attempted, or not attempted. This data will be considered to positively influence the final course grade of the student. Students and families will be able to see marks in SIS, though weekly emails will not be sent since there will not be a quarter four grade. Quarter four grade will be a no mark. 
final course grades, year-long courses, teachers set up a standard term weighting that will not include quarter four or final exam. Quarters one, two, and three will be weighted equally at 33.3%. Chantilly has the discretion of raising a student's final grade by one grade distribution. For example, a B can improve to a B plus based on demonstrated proficiency of quarter four learning. A student with an F average may increase to any D grade for final mark based on quarter four proficiency of learning. A student's final grade will be the highest of the following. Averages of quarters one, two, and three. The average of quarters one, two, and three with one grade distribution increase, if applicable. First semester grade, consideration of quality points as per FCPS grading and reporting. For students who had an F at first semester, all efforts should be made to engage the student in distance learning to give them the opportunity to demonstrate proficiency of learning and raise their grade. Students with an F average may increase to any D grade for final mark based on the fourth quarter demonstrated proficiency of learning. Below you will see the grading timelines. Report cards will be printed and mailed centrally to all families except those that have opted to receive report cards online only. The last day of distance learning and graduation details for seniors are still to be determined. Look for the nightly news and Dr. Poole's weekly video announcements. New videos will be posted each Tuesday morning during third period or before 10.30 a.m. Look for the videos on each of Chantilly's platforms, the FCPS on Google Classrooms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and more. Want to be featured on the Nightly News? The Nightly News would love to feature student and staff videos about how chargers have been spending this time at home. Send a direct message to the Nightly News via Twitter or email Miss Kelly. You can also check out the YouTube channel, Chantilly underscore TKN. Students are also encouraged to follow the Purple Tide student paper. Using the CHS student site, students can access the student paper by clicking the icon. It will take students directly to the Purple Tide website. The Purple Tide has started a series called the Coronavirus Diaries. The Coronavirus Diaries is a series of diary type entries written by students and staff documenting the day-to-day -day activities and experiences in quarantine. Follow the Purple Tide on Instagram or Twitter and submit your story. How can students pick up personal items left at Chantilly or items that were ordered? These items can be picked up when students are allowed to come back to buildings to return any school-owned property and collect items from lockers. Additional guidance will be provided at that time. Illness or other family situation that prevents students from completing work prior to April 24th. If a parent communicates that their student is unable to complete assignments and or reassessments during this time period, an incomplete may be given for third quarter and the incomplete can be updated once the student is able to provide the remaining third quarter work. Chantilly High School cares about the well-being of every student. Students, parents, and guardians are welcome to contact CHS Student Services. In addition to talking about the importance of washing hands, covering coughs and sneezes, and staying home when they are sick, there are a number of resources to support families when discussing COVID-19. If you or someone you care about is in crisis, you have these options.